Listen. We're in the Champions League. We're in the Champions League. Finishing top three. We're in the Champions League. Where's Liverpool? Not there. Where's Chelsea? Not there. Where's Spurs? Not there. Oh my God! Man United. This is Man United one. Um, Copenhagen FC. Copenhagen FC dead. <laughs> nah. Um, um, <laughs> nil. FC Copenhagen nil. Um, Rich, talk to me, man. You know what? I'm just happy we got the win. And, you know, first of all, we have to get it straight out there. Maguire and Anana, well done. Yeah, you know, yeah, the yeah, mentality yeah. for Maguire to be able to sit that back for the last six months, 18 months even, 12 months, whatever, and act appropriately. You know, yes. he didn't do a Sancho or anything like that. Yeah. Sancho, I hope you're watching, bro, because yeah, yeah, come yeah. on. Like, this is an, he set an example here. It's an example. It's an example. And he's come back. He's, you know, let's not get carried away, you know, but... He had an assist in the two games ago, got man of the match the last game. Obviously, it was like a pseudo man of the match. It wasn't really a man of the match. Mm-hmm. This game as well, he man of the match performance. He's mm-hmm. at least up there with mm-hmm. one, of the, one of the man of the match. And, you know, you have to give him props for that. Secondly, or no, no, this guy, like... We were nervous. We were not. Ne- the whole of Africa I don't know if was you saw, nervous. I don't know if you saw my reaction. I was just like... I was shocked. Yeah. I was not expecting it. Yes. I never expected it. I never expected, I never expected it. it. Because it's a down in line. We don't, we're not used to that. Okay, yeah. and, um, uh, the hair did it in his last game or last two games, whatever. But I did not expect that. So, you know, once again, hopefully this is a confidence builder for this guy. These two, it, like two players that were void of confidence and just in the dark, in the cold, yeah. you know, um, have come back and done something. Yeah, and, that, and that's what you love to see, you know, and it, it shows good mentality from the team. It shows good camaraderie. And at the end there, you saw everybody hugging, you know, obviously it's huge, it's the yeah. relief, but it's just lovely to see. And like I said, going forward, it has to mean something. Yes. It has to mean something, confidence-wise. Yes. Obviously, next game now is City, so it could just knock us all back down to earth. But it has to mean... No, but now we're in the competition. You know, this was such an important week. And Champions League, we could have been on our way out. Man United now, like, they can go into that City game feeling a bit more Mm. confident than it had been before, where it's been a total crisis. Yeah, and I think the problem, actually, is that we're struggling to find the balance at the back. Mm -hmm. Um, Okay, the the back did well today, but it's somehow affecting the midfield. Because... Really, what I should say, we're struggling to find a balance in midfield, but I actually think it stems from the back because we've had so many changes mm-hmm. in that back line. You know, Maguire and Varane today. We had Mark, I like that you know, combination. It worked. Today. It definitely worked. And, you know, Regulon finally having a left back back. It was nice. Um, Dallo was decent today. In fact, both fullbacks didn't really do anything crazy. They were just mm-hmm. solid. Um, but that kind of balance we've been struggling to find. And that first half, we did not have no balance. Mm-hmm. Makatonomy, all over the place, not in the midfield. Um, Amrabat obviously moving around a lot as well, so it's mm-hmm. not really staying in the midfield. Bruno was invisible. Mm-hmm. Second half now, you see more balance. You see more football. Again, you know, Ten Hag says, said that when he took off Casemiro that time, I want more football. Yeah. He got that with Ericsson in the second half. At least he knows that Ericsson is the man to yeah. go to when you need more football. Yeah, but then the problem is, why can't we start like that? Yes. I, I, and a lot of people, will, I don't think any many people were even screaming for Ericsson to start anyway. We're thinking about Mount, we're thinking about, you know, maybe when Casemiro's back, even though he's had a tough start to the season. But in going forward, we need to, we need to find that balance. We can't be looking for it in-game because for facing City, for facing Liverpool, 4-0 down, you can't be looking for the balance after that. Do you get Can you give the manager some respect and t- mm. for the tactical change to bring on Ericsson and know that's the piece that was needed to change the game? 100%. And you, you can give him the credit because he did it so quickly as well. Straight away, you know, when, when the second half was starting, we were like, wait, hold on, he's not making these up because we saw mm. McTominay on. And we thought it would be McTominay came and not coming off. But he did it straight away. Making a, a change at 45 minutes is always seen as, oh, okay, this is drastic. Mm-hmm. But it was needed. He was brave enough to do it. And like you said, he made the right choice bringing on Matt, um, uh, Ericsson. Question mark, where is Mount? What's going on there? Maybe injuries, yeah. we'll probably find out post-game because I'm sure one of the pressers will, will ask about it. But it's nice to see that he is making the right decision. Again, you know, like that's his job. He's got to deal with this. Yeah. He's got to deal with the pressure of, you know, Man United. And was there a little part of you that thought, oh my goodness, we're, we're out of this competition? 100%. Uh, Ofra, like I said, my reaction to the, the penalty save kind of shows that because I thought, you know, if we draw this game, one point from three games, three games to go, it's, it's looking, it's not looking good, bruv. Um, so it's really, really good to see that we've still given ourselves a chance. Like I said, it has to mean something. Going forward, we need to beat Copenhagen next game. I believe it's next week anyway. Mm-hmm. I don't think there's a break yet. And then there's the break, or, and then we have to face the other three again. So we need, we need to, this needs to mean something. I don't think it's, Co- I think it might be uh, Carabao. Yeah, I think so. yeah? Oh, okay, yeah, maybe I think right. so, I don't yeah. know, I'm, I'm not sure. But anyway, whatever, yeah. I'll take it. Yeah. Listen, we have to move on. We have to start thinking about our next game against mm-hmm. Man City. Yeah. Can we do it? Like I always say, we can. I have to back my team. I always, you know, it's very, it's very hard not to predict a win for the team. However, you know, if you're going to be 
they're neutral. If you can be, if you're going to be use your head, it's unlikely that United are going to win this game. However, we have to go there believing. We have to we're go at there. Home, at home. We're at home. And, you know, fair enough, our home, season, home form this season hasn't been great. We're struggling right now. We, you know, I haven't spoken about it. But the forwards, they're not putting the, back, the ball into the back of the net. City might not give you as many chances as we've got today. Yeah. You know, so we need to be clinical. We need to make chances like we did in the second half. Because we overall in the whole, whole game, we made more chances than these guys. I don't know what the XG is saying, but obviously the XG is always inflated by penalties. So mm. they're going to look quite high because they had a penalty. But... We had the better chance of this game. We Absolutely. should have won this game anyway. Absolutely. Yeah. But anyway, listen, we move on. Uncle City, we're through. We're still, we're still in this competition. Come on!